one other uh, piece of, of this story, Jane, is obviously the way the health care uh, bill was composed. Uh, obviously, the Obama administration uh, asserting that there was not going to be backroom deals and shenanigans when they got into office. All, all of us had the misfortune of bearing witness to the revelation of, and I think we have the full screens here, uh, the actual memo to the drug companies that was obtained by the Huffington Post uh, that spoke to a direct backroom deal in which the, the White House agreed to um, oppose importation of drugs where we subsidize overpay in America for drugs in order uh, to pay off the money that the drug companies don't make selling drugs elsewhere, oppose rebates in Medicare Part D, oppose a repeal of non-interference, oppose opening Medicare Part B. None of this was disclosed in the interaction and reeks uh, of shady deal making. Uh, how much did that hurt and does that still hurt the uh, politicians today that this sort of thing is now known? It absolutely does hurt people and in fact I think it is the driving force that is causing the Democrats this fall to have such poor electoral prospects. That memo which was in, uncovered by Ryan Grimm of the Huffington Post was one of the most important stories of 2009 and it goes to the underlying problem. President Obama last night on uh, John Stewart said that basically uh, you know they, people were expecting too much too fast but that's not the problem. The same problem we're having with the HAMP program which was that it was basically written by the banks to allow them to clean out uh, people's 401ks before they put them in foreclosure and did not do anything really to stem the foreclosure tide is the same problem that the health care bill is is experiencing because of those kind of deals. Uh, there are people uh, who are, yes, are getting help because of the uh, the program that gives uh, high risk pool people some coverage, but it was supposed to help 365,000 of the tens of millions of people who are uninsured. And to date, there have been only 400 applicants in California and 200 approved in Texas. It's not solving the problem, and that's because the insurance companies wrote the legislation to benefit themselves. Yeah. Jane, do you think the president gets this, or do you think he can just come up with a, a list of things that he believes he's accomplished and ignore that the, the underlying system is utterly corrupt, a, a, as evidenced by not only this list, but uh, this election? Well, I think that the list of accomplishments that he came up with yesterday and the excuses he gave for not being better uh, at addressing the problems of the country, people just don't believe. They don't believe, as they say, that TARP was a successful program. They don't believe that it actually made money. And if you look at what happened, it didn't. So, you know, there's a real sense that he's operating in 1972 politics in an era where people are, are they just know better than that. And he hasn't come out and said, okay, you know, we didn't do what we needed to do and leveled with the country, and people don't trust them. Uh, if you look